So, uh, really, it is mind-boggling how funny people are. Full stop. And on TikTok, they get a chance to express themselves. I mean, really, there are a lot of people that deserve big breaks after I see what they can do on TikTok. I'm telling you, I watched a video of somebody pouring water into a cup, like, and the cup was turned upside down, so the water was just spilling all over the counter, and they said, this life hack will change the way you drink water. They flipped the cup just to be on its right side and said, this is how you drink out of a cup. I watched it over and over again and was, like, crying, laughing. I thought it was so funny. Yeah, I mean, for that one, you got to see it. You got to see it. TikTok. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, Dr. Knock, at Dr. N-O-C. He is a medfluencer. So the guy has a PhD in pharmaceutical sciences, and his workday, he, he's busy, right? He's, in his workday, he's busy researching COVID-19 therapeutics, and he's got a big, big following. So he started making videos correcting COVID misinformation, but he also does funny things that I've never thought about. For example, one of... His post um, answers the question, and this is a great question. Have you ever thought about this? Why doesn't glue stick to the inside of the bottle? Yet when you put it out of its little spewer, sticky stickiness. Right. So, Dr. Knock, how are you? Ryan, I'm doing great. Thanks for having me. Um, it's a pleasure. What a great time you're living in where you can be what they call a medfluencer. Did you ever think that was possible growing up? No, this is fascinating. Even, you know, two years ago, how many people would have wanted to follow an immunologist on TikTok of all places? It's sort of been a transformation of the social media landscape. Now, are, and I, I don't know, are there a lot of doctors on TikTok, surgeons around the country on TikTok? There's not many. Um, there's a handful, maybe a couple of 10. Mm -hmm. uh, and almost everyone, maybe everyone, is just doing it, sort of volunteering to do it. It's not part of any official program. So, uh, in contrast to the number of people making questionable information or misinformation, we're kind of outnumbered. All right. Well, what's the answer to this glue gig? What's the deal with the glue? <laughs> well, it depends what type of glue we're talking. If we're talking about the regular white glue, not super glue, uh, there's two important things to know. First one is glue is made up of a polymer that's dissolved in water. That's what glue is. The second thing is when you squeeze that glue out, the water quickly starts to evaporate. And what it leaves behind is just the polymer. That's what dried glue is. So inside the bottle, when the bottle top is closed, the water just doesn't have anywhere to evaporate to until you squeeze it out. Uh, could you do me a Your voice is so vintage. Could you just say the Jetsons brought to you by Colgate fighting tooth decay? <laughs> Am I part of an advertisement? Let's do it. The no, no, I just want brought to you by Colgate. <laughs> yeah, keep going. Fight, fighting tooth decay. Fighting tooth decay. See, that's like those old TV shows when they had the announcer come on and go, tonight's <laughs> episode is brought to you by the Coca-Cola Company. Remember that? <laughs> and wow. and right? oral health makes a big deal for your systemic health. There actually there you is go. a link He's, he's your the voiceover to all my science movies growing up. He's the guy. <laughs> yeah, the science He's movies. the science movies guy. Patty? Does that rule also apply to anything in a bottle? Alcohol, lotion, paint? Yeah. Yeah. In all of those cases, sometimes it's not in water, but it's dissolved in some solvent, sometimes an organic solvent. And that will evaporate and go away into the air, leaving behind the other stuff like the paint molecules that give the color. I mean, the guy is my science narrator. Could you say this is how babies are made? <laughs> <laughs> this is how babies are made. Wow. Right. It's literally so the good. movies you we saw what? back you in know, fifth grade. The Voice of like Disneyland when you get in the rides and they say, make sure your hands are up and your seatbelts are buckled before the ride gets going. I don't think they say it. Yeah, you're giving me some video ideas here. Yeah. I'm writing yeah, this well, down for some future Dr. content. Knock, you're a multimedia medfluencer, okay? Do not stop yeah. with, with one yeah, thing. Yeah, don't let them put you in a box. <laughs> um, so anyway, if you want to, he's a, a lot of fun to watch and informative, obviously at Dr. NOC on TikTok. You got to see it. Morgan McSweeney. Thanks for coming on, pal. Ryan, thanks for having me. Have a great day. The temperature is 70 degrees. Hey. <laughs> the temperature is 70 degrees and fair. Oh, he added in fair. See, cause you're a doctor. <laughs> doctor. He's always thinking one step ahead. All right. Thanks doc. He, he has that like. 
Yeah. Black and white movie voiceover. And he's very good looking too. What's wrong with that? No, I don't know what he looks like. I'm just waiting to hear more. What strikes you I'm, as I'm pulling up his, his traits? TikTok what does he look like? Right now. Well, describe him for us. He yeah, he looks him. like he can be in his early twenties. He gives me like really young vibes. Does he give you Doogie Hauser vibes? Yes, that's what I wanted to say. Yes, <laughs> and his hair is nicely combed, gel, and he has these cute little glasses, and he loves wearing a blue uh, button-up with a blue jacket. And he's got a PhD. 